guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video anti-aging skincare now how do we care for our aging skin there are many ways in which to care for the aging skin however everything do take time dedication and effort now how do I care for my skin I personally like to wash my face every day twice a day I like to use a lot of natural remedy on my skin I like to use a lot of anti-aging products on my skin whether I make them for myself or I purchase them at the store now today I'm just gonna leave a simple and easy way for you to maintain a healthy glowing looking skin The first thing you want to do up on the horizon in the mornings, you are going to make sure to wash your face. Now, you do not need to wash your face with any form of a harsh chemical, any form of a face wash that could irritate the skin. So what you're going to do, you're going to search for a facial wash that is suitable for your skin. A wonderful ingredient that you can use and add stuff to it to wash your face is Castile Soap. If you get pure Castile Soap, you can choose to add any form of an essential oil to it and use that to wash your face. You can also choose to add aloe vera gel to your Castile Soap, that liquid Castile Soap that is, and wash your face. Now once you cleanse the face, the next step is to use a facial toner. You can choose to use anti-aging facial toner. They are all over selling or you could choose to make it yourself. I like to use star anise mixed with green tea. I like to use that as a facial toner because there are many benefits that you could get from the green tea and also from the star anise. The green tea is known to help to boost collagen production. It's known to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines in the skin and mix with the star anise is gonna tighten that skin and give you that wonderful glow so always try to use a facial toner right after you pat dry the skin now after applying your facial toner you want to make sure to hear dry the facial toner so just dry the facial toner for about a minute or two once your facial toner is dried then you're gonna move on to your facial serum Now, not everyone use a facial serum. However, if you're trying to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines, I would suggest that you start using a facial serum. It is much lighter than a facial moisturizer. It absorbs in the skin, and it also comes with a lot of wonderful benefits for the aging skin. A facial serum is definitely gonna help to boost the collagen. You have various kinds out there. Look for a facial serum that is loaded with vitamin A, and also, vitamin C and vitamin E once you have that in your facial serum use it on both your face your neck and your decollete if you do not have a store-bought facial serum I just gave you three ingredients vitamin C vitamin E vitamin A whip all those three together use a little carrier oil such as organ oil or rose hip oil and use that as your facial serum now as with the facial toner once you apply the facial serum on your skin and your neck you're gonna just let it absorb in the skin so you're gonna wait a couple of minutes maybe a minute or two to let that dry on the skin also now if you have dry skin you definitely need a moisturizer over the facial serum most people need a moisturizer over the facial serum so you're gonna choose a moisturizer suitable for your skin whether you have oily skin normal skin or sensitive skin just choose a moisturizer and use it over your facial serum now you can also choose to use a moisturizer in the daytime and use your facial serum at night or you can use your facial serum in the daytime and just lather on your moisturizer in the nighttime however for me I like to layer everything so I layer the facial toner next on top of the facial toner I like to put my serum wait a couple minutes and then I do my facial moisturizer now if you do this on the regular and follow these three simple easy steps to taking care of your skin you're gonna be on your way to bright beautiful younger fresher looking skin 
along with layering all these wonderful goodness on the skin you definitely need to take care of the skin taking care of the skin I mean you need to exfoliate your skin on a regular so you're gonna exfoliate your skin at least two times per week I normally say two to three times per week is best exfoliating the skin is pretty easy and pretty quick because you can actually do this in the shower you're gonna search for a natural ingredient as a matter of fact just search for ingredients that are friendly to your skin I personally like to use a lot of natural stuff on my skin so I tend to reach for some brown sugar that's one of my favorite and I like to mix this with any form of a fruit that is available I like to use some lemon peel and brown sugar on my skin to exfoliate I also like to use some papaya some brown sugar to exfoliate my skin I use a lot of baking soda on my skin also I mix baking soda with coconut oil I mix baking soda with olive oil I also mix baking soda with some castor oil and I use that to exfoliate my skin and that actually give me wonderful great fresh clean looking skin so so exfoliate the skin at least two to three times per week for best result. Now along with exfoliating the skin, I would suggest you do some facial mask and you can also choose to do facial mask two to three times per week. We're trying to roll back the years so you're going to use anti-aging facial mask. Now I have a lot of wonderful ones on my channel and I'm going to put some of them here and in the description box below. Now guess what guys? If you're looking to tighten that skin, a wonderful treatment is Fuller's Earth. So you can choose to use a facial mask that contains Fuller's Earth that is going to tighten sagging skin. Now if you're looking to brighten the skin, a wonderful natural ingredient is tomato you can also use lemon to brighten the skin now mix your lemon with some yogurt or mix your tomato with some yogurt you can also use some papaya for your facial mask you can also use some avocado all of these is gonna have your face just soft supple moisturized and radiant looking so there's no excuse not to take care of your skin and have your skin looking young fresh and bright and guess what Now along with taking care of your skin and having your skin looking radiant, to top it off, there's something important that we all need to do. We all need to take care of our hair. You are going to comb your hair, you're going to style your hair, and when you do that, your face is going to look younger. Notice sometimes you could put your makeup on, you could really have your skin looking nice, and if your hair is not in place, you definitely don't have that young, fresh look. So comb your hair groom your hair take care of your hair regardless of how you wear it along with taking care of your skin and also don't forget to take care of your hands I have some wonderful anti-aging facial masks that you can both use on your face and your hands so just take care of yourself overall it's time consuming but it is worth the effort so there you have it what I tend to do and ways in which you can take care of your skin to look years younger just beautiful radiant and glowing thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye